top five childhood games that you maybe have forgotten so in this video we'll be checking out some old games that i've downloaded for some of you guys it might be nostalgia and for some it might be new so i'll make sure to tell you guys how i got the game and i'll be putting the link in the description for each one so let's start with the first game and that is serious sam the first encounter now this game was developed by road team and originally published by gathering of developers this game was first released on the windows pc on the 21st of march 2001. To summarize this game, it's an adventure game where serious Sam Stone have to fight against the forces of the notorious extraterrestrial overlord Mental who seek to destroy humanity. Serious Sam was indeed one of the weirdest games I've ever played back in the days. The mobs in this game are the funniest. It's like a three-year-old kid was a lead designer. You will see scorpions with bras on, headless screaming men or something just totally otherworldly. The graphics overall isn't really all that you have to remember it's an old game so don't expect too much there but the gameplay is really satisfying just running through hordes of funny mobs with heavy machine guns and rocky launchers is really fun also it has a lot of funny cutscenes to make the experience even more enjoyable The way this game just throws mobs and traps at you is horrifying and funny at the same time. Just playing this again really brought back some good memories. The PC requirements for this game is so low, anyone with a PC can play it. So don't worry about your PC specs unless you're using a Windows 95 PC with 50 MB of RAM. Also, the price for this game is just $3. You can purchase this game right now on Steam. This is definitely a fast paced FPS classic. Alright, so on to the second game which is Smash Flash 2 by MC Layout Gaming. The release date of the first Smash Flash game was on August 21st, 2006. Smash Flash 2 is a 2D fighting game where you can choose from some of the most iconic fictional characters like Goku, Mario and Mega Man. This is basically a fan made game based on the Super Smash Bros series, hence the name Smash Flash. The community around this game is surprisingly still very strong. They have 5k active members on their discord and over 25k followers on Twitter where the devs give the latest updates on the game. Their latest update was on August 12, 2021. So you can tell they are still actively improving the game as time goes on. When it comes to gameplay, there's nothing much to say. It's just like Super Smash Bros, but more retro. Plus, it's free. And the PC requirements to play this are very low as well. Anyone with a PC can play this. So in order to get it, all you need to do is head to their website, which I'll have in the description below. So all you need to do here is click the Games tab, scroll down until you see Smash Flash 2, click it, then scroll down again until you see downloads on the right side then click it now here is self-explanatory just click whichever link to download smash flash then you can enjoy your knockout version of smash bros A big thank you by the way to the mc Liad gaming community what you guys are doing is amazing thank you truly for creating this gem for us gamers all right so the third game is need for speed world this game was released on july 27 2010 then it died on july 14 2015 as for the gameplay of course we all know what need for speed games are driving fast cars buying new cars and getting chased by cops but this game had just that but with a little bit more twist this was basically a mmo need for speed game where you can meet and compete against other players when racing or competing you can collect special items that give your car the ability to attack other players or to boost the defense and speed of your car luckily even though the game died in 2015 the developers over at night riders they're actually trying their best to keep the game alive they have over 150k registered players and at least 50 players online at all time. To download the game, you have to join their Discord and get the download link and instructions there, which I'll put their link below so you guys can get the game for yourselves. My personal opinion about this game is, I think everyone should give this game a chance. It's free anyways, you have nothing to lose. Its gameplay style is definitely unique compared to other Need for Speed games. And if you're a most wanted fan, I promise you, you will enjoy this one. I don't know how many of you guys can remember Blur, that racing game that came out on the 
Xbox 360 around 2010, very underrated masterpiece by the way. Need for Speed World art style and gameplay reminds me a lot of that game. Hopefully, I can find some pictures to show you guys an example. But anyways, my respect goes out to the devs at Knight Riders. You guys didn't have to do it, but you guys did it anyways for the fans that love and cherished this game. Alright, so the fourth game is Combat Arms, which was released on July 11, 2008. Then in July 2012, it was later released on Steam. It's a free-to-play multiplayer first-person shooter game developed by Nexon. Combat Arms gameplay is very similar to other well-known FPS games such as Crossfire and Counter-Strike. They also have similar game modes such as Capture the Flag and Elimination. I remember around the time that this game would be my go-to Call of Duty game because I did have an Xbox 360 at the time. I had one of those CRT Windows XP PC which ran this game surprisingly really well. Some of the key features of this game is you can do missions set by other clients around the world that will reward you with exclusive items or payment that would be otherwise difficult to obtain. When it comes to customization of weapons and character, it's endless. They are always adding something to give players a fresh feel, which is usually a good sign. That means they're actively fixing and updating the game. My favorite mode in this game would be Quarantine Region, where you play as an infected aka zombie and try to turn the other players, or try to survive as an uninfected and kill all the zombies. I would say this is a perfect low in PC online FPS game. I guess that's why the player count is still fairly good. Alright, so last but not least, the game that made the biggest impact on my childhood and gave me lots of hours of fun is Alien Shooter. It's an isometric top-down shooter video game developed and released by Sigma Team, a Russian development studio. The date of release is May 18, 2003. The main objective of the game is to eliminate all aliens in each level. To do so, players must access all of the areas that level has to offer by completing tasks such as reactivating power generators, destroying walls, and disabling force fields, then removing alien threats within. Later levels feature teleportation devices to spawn enemies indefinitely and can only be destroyed by special explosives scattered throughout the level. So it's a very simple game. Unfortunately, it's very old and dead now. And to be honest, every level feels very repetitive. It's like an addicting arcade game you play on your phone just to pass the time. Of course, now the game is gonna seem a bit bland and just filled with nostalgia. But back in my childhood days, this was the best game I've ever seen. I would forget to sleep at night because of how invested I was in playing this. It also started arguments between me and my parents about how much time I would spend playing this game, which usually end with me getting an ass whooping, which still didn't stop me from playing. The game is for $3 on Steam. It used to be free, but I guess after Flash Player got shut down, I guess a lot of games just moved over to Steam. But as the old saying goes, all good things must come to an end. So this will probably be the last time I'll be playing this game or any of these games. As a matter of fact, the levels of nostalgia I felt while making this video felt so good. And I hope some of you guys felt it as well. But for newbies that don't know of any of these games, check them out. They ain't so bad as you think. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Thanks again guys. And I'm out.